very pertinent and very nice question. So that has been a subject of uh, interest and there's been a lot of articles which are coming up, uh, specifically looking at Certainly. certain subgroups who are already on some specific medicines to you know, bring down their immunity, particularly the post-transplant patients, patients who are on treatment for their Crohn's and ulcerative colitis, this so-called inflammatory bowel disease. So these are people who are already on some tablets to you know, control or cut down their immunity. So the worry for us initially last year was that whether they are more prone to get affected with COVID infection. But what we have come to see in the last, you know, in the last one and a half years is that for some reason, these patients who are at least the inflammatory bowel disease patients, now we have enough data from at least outside the Western countries to say that they are not at any higher risk than what we see uh, in the general population. But what we do see is that um, people who get affected because of this COVID. Uh, they, are particularly patients who are on those uh, medicines which you now cut down the immunity, some of them tend to have, tend to develop a far more severe disease. So that is one principle. The other thing, as you said, is patients who are on you know, post-transplant, liver transplant and other patients, they somehow seem to have a little higher risk of developing more severe infection than this in the general population. <music>